Hey. Really? They say they want to do it? A PUC? A demo. A demo or a PUC? What do they say? They're not sure? Okay, let's talk later. I, I gotta go. God, who hired that clown? I've been asked more than once what the differences are between a demo and a proof of concept, a POC. And it's about time we dive into these essential topics for any new sales engineers. Hey guys, welcome to Better Brief Sales with Sasha. If you're new to this channel, my videos are all about learning and improving your technical selling skills and elevating your market value as a sales engineer. In this video, I'm going to break down the differences between a POC and a demo in three different categories. Number one is the work or the amount of effort. Number two is in which sales stage should they be used. And number three is the expected outcome from each one of these. Let's talk about the effort. A demo is a pre-built scripted presentation of our product or solution. The environment for the demo has already been set up, the sales engineer has been pre-trained and there is really no advanced work, no advanced preparation for the demo. All you have to do basically is show up on time and run it. I made a video on how to run great demos and if you missed it, make sure you go back to watch it right after this one. You'll find the link down in the description. So to summarize, the effort to run a pre-scripted demo is minimal. A POC, on the other hand, is a deeper and customized exploration of the product. A POC is often conducted in the customer's environment, whether it's their virtual cloud or network environment, or really their physical premises. And it requires active engagement and participation by the customer that takes days, if not weeks, gathering the requirements, solution design, configuration, implementation, monitoring the progress, training the customer, presenting the results, tons of coffee, calls, meetings, and maybe sleepless nights. So to summarize, a proof of concept is a very high level of effort. It's a days or weeks long engagement. Imagine we are buying a car. We go to a dealership, we talk to the car salesman, they show us a particular make and model, guide us through the menus, play some music, talk to us about car's features. That all is likely pre-scripted. It didn't take much effort. That's the equivalent of running a demo. An equivalent of the POC in the car sales process would be the customer getting the car for the weekend so they can test drive according to their you know, scenarios, their criteria. And the effort involved in this is much, much higher. Okay, let's talk about the differences in the stage in the sales process. Nowadays, customers mostly do their due diligence on their own. They do the market research, they even do some initial product evaluation, even before they contact us or we become aware that they are considering our product. This is how the sales process usually looks like. A customer becomes aware of a challenge they need to solve. They start their research and exploration of the market, shortlist products they'd like to value it further. They run a detailed product evaluation. They make a decision to purchase. And then there's all these post sales activities that include training and adoption, project implementation, support and maintenance of the product, and of course, renewal and expansion of the product. Now, if we're lucky, as a sales team, we'll start engaging with a customer in their stage two, looking at the market and trying to understand which products could address their challenge. And this gives us the chance to steer and influence the customer and build champions for our product within the customer's organization. However, it's very likely that we'll start engaging them only in later stages where they've already formed an opinion about products, including our product. This is crap. So it's crucial here to show the demo in front of the customer as soon as possible, almost as soon as we start engaging with them after we've done the initial discovery. A POC, on the other hand, usually happens when the customer has shortlisted our product, so they only want to evaluate two or three products and they are seriously considering purchasing one of these products. So if we put that sales process on a time scale, demo is usually done in the earlier stages of the process and the POC usually happens later. Finally, let's talk about the expected outcomes. We run the low effort pre-scripted demos to show the look and feel of our product to the customer, to get them excited, to get them to want to see more, and finally to get them to decide to evaluate our product, meaning to go into that proof of concept with us. Customers run POCs to get the technical validation that the product or the solution is solving their challenges, is ticking all those boxes that they defined as criteria 
to purchase the product. After running the POCs for all their shortlisted products, the customer usually makes a purchasing decision. And if we've done our job well, they're going to buy our product. In this video, I talked about the differences between a demo and a proof of concept a POC in terms of the effort they require, expected outcome, and the stage in the sales process. In this video, you can learn more about POCs. And if you want to learn more about demos, make sure you watch how to run great demos. I hope you like this video and that you'll give me a thumbs up for it. And if you have any questions, let me know below in the comments. See you next time. Stay healthy and stay tuned.